That's right. I'm officially declaring I am a furry. There goes my sub count. Well, Ray, I still have the dignity and enough IQ to not change my channel name or my profile picture. Neither do I have a wolf mask, but I happen to have a horse mask, and I think that's enough. Um, I've had this recent furry revelation when I realized just how much furry I was watching. Um, I've been watching My Little Pony, like, ever since I was young. And recently, I've really been enjoying Be A Star. Cats 2019. My reputation can't go any lower than it already has after confessing I'm a furry. So, I'll admit it, I'll actually enjoy Cats 2019. Maybe enough to even rewatch it again. Let's address the elephant in the room. Individuals, or maybe just the character design, with the uncanny valley CGI, a bipedal humanoid furry. On top of that, there's a lot of snuggling and nuzzling. Just seems like fan service, but like specifically for furries. I can understand if that's unpleasant to look at, but personally, I watched a dosage of Bob and I Sisters, so it was tolerable. Music time, all the songs felt cheap and forgettable, but there were just a few catchy tunes, like uh, the tap dancing one and Magical Mr. Mephistopheles. There is no story or plot in this movie. It was just mediocre song after mediocre song, and the songs aren't progressing the plot. All of the songs are just these cats singing about themselves slash introducing themselves. Like Gus sings about his name and James Corden being really fat. And that's the whole song and it just repeats this over and over again. The only way the story progresses is the few lines of dialogue between the songs. And it's so simplistic. I can compress this one hour and 40 minute movie into just a few sentences. I'm not even gonna put a spoiler alert here. Basically there's this cat cult and some ceremony to find a cat to be reborn and every cat singing to become like the chosen cat. Uh, there is a villain, a cavity, but the only reason he exists is just not to make the movie. Like just a compilation of furry auditions. So after applying this movie so much, why do I like it? Um, a big factor I put into reviewing something for some reason is the pacing. And this movie's pacing is so fucked up and incomprehensibly slow and boring. It feels like this movie, like, puts you in a trance, like a drug trip, because I watched regular movies before, like Spirited Away. That movie, I was transported into another fantasy world, seeing Chihiro go through so many like tribulations and see her experience character growth and a bunch of conflicts happen that get resolved in the end. And half the movie um, wraps up, like you feel really satisfied, like you go through a journey in just two hours, but in Cats 2019, nothing f***ing happens and feel empty. You feel empty and nothing, and it's great. The other thing I like is set design and lighting. Because it emits a certain calm vibe, and it sort of has like the 1920s aesthetic. With all the orange lighting, it, like, it feels pretty Christmassy, which puts me in a nice mood. The fact that the atmosphere it gives me feels nice and calms me down, and the really slow pacing just puts me in a fever dream. And that's the reason why I like Cats 2019. 2 out of 10. Why I love Be A Stars. I didn't expect a furry psychological high school romance uh, when I first watched it, but I loved it. Uh, kind of weird how at first it's about high, awkward high school hijinks and dealing with high school click, clicks. Um, but at the end, it's about taking down the Yakuza, and it's a bit far off, but sure. Really, everything good about this show has already been said. Only discussion we need now is a waifu war, baby. At first, I like how Haru uh, physically is just a small little bunny girl, but her personality and like 
uh, cool, quick way to protect her smart ass, so at least she can stand on her own ground. But as the series continued, it got kind of annoying. And I can understand why some people would dislike her. That's why I'm moving on to Yandere Wolf Girl. I still respect her mostly because her voice actor is also the voice of Chikose from Girlish Number, and they are perfect for each other. Yeah, I'm, I'm still choosing Juno, because I mean, they think it's pretty hot. Thanks for watching the last few minutes of me losing all of my reputation. Before you unsubscribe, please watch all my content. All three enthusiasts will probably like the Minecraft series uh, where I was a squid. And remember, don't like and subscribe. Oh, like and subscribe.